Hello and welcome into another edition of Beat the Bookie. I'm your host today, Noah Searson, and I'm here to navigate you through one of the juiciest college football cards of the entire year. But before we get into all my big picks for the day, we've got to check out my resume. I was on the show about a month and a half ago, and, you know, of course I had to come in the green 24-10 to be exact. My best bet in that one, Rutgers covering against Q's. But enough about me. Let's talk about last week. We had our Canadian friend Ben Shulman on, and oof, not too hot. 2-7 and seven on the day. Lost $48.66, breaking a three-show winning streak for Beat the Bookie. We'll take a look at the standings real quick. The top dog right now is Jaron May, $65. My goodness, Jaron, a great day for him, followed by Colin Bach, Brad Klein. I'm at the four spot, uh, but I'm not satisfied. I want that top spot. So we're going to get straight into our big games. And we'll start things off with a top 15 battle down in College Station between number 13 Auburn and number 14 Texas A&M. A lot of people think about the Aggies. They think about that big win at home against Alabama, but they haven't really impressed me otherwise. Uh, and you talk about what this Auburn Tigers team has done, especially on the offensive th end of things. Bo Nix, actually a dark horse Heisman candidate, and Tanks Bigsby not only has the best name in all of college football, uh, he's averaging over five yards per carry. I think Auburn establishes the run early and often. Not only do they cover the four and a half point spread, they win this darn football game. So I'm throwing $10 on Auburn Moneyline at plus 170. Let's move over to a Tar Heel State rivalry as an undefeated ninth ranked Wake Forest hits the road for its toughest challenge of the year against North Carolina. And although this Demon Deacon squad is undefeated, they're actually underdogs in this one by two and a half points. Uh, and I can't blame Vegas. They haven't played anybody all season long. And North Carolina has had a lot of tough losses. And oh, by the way, UNC with Sam Howell and that great offense Mac Brown is leading, over 480 offensive yards per game. Demon Deacons can do it too. Sam Hartman and A.T. Perry have connected eight times this year. A lot of offensive points are going to be put up on the board early and often, so I'm going to take the over on the first half total points, 38 and a half on that one, uh, and I'll throw $5 on that. For our final big game, we'll take it to America's Conference, where Mel Tucker will be storming into West Lafayette with number three ranked Michigan State to take on Purdue. And look, this Boilermaker squad, they're solid. Five wins on the year. They'll make a bowl game. But we got to talk about Michigan State. They're undefeated on the year, up to number three in the rankings, and got a big come-from-behind victory against Michigan last week. This Purdue Boilermaker defense actually pretty solid, but one thing they're bad at is stopping the run. Their three losses this year, Wisconsin, Iowa, Minnesota. Three teams that can run the ball. So I'm hammering the Spartans who have the best back in the country in Kenneth Walker the third. They easily cover three points, throwing $10 on that. And we're also going to prop it up, not pipe it up. We're going to prop it up here on Beat the Bookie with a Kenneth Walker prop. I talk about how much I love him. Those are rushing yards. Uh, he's going to rack them up all day. 114 and a half is his over under. Hitting the over. $10 on that. No questions asked. We'll now throw it to my picks of the week, and we're going to keep it in the Big Ten for Ohio State versus Nebraska. And Nebraska, I, I can't even trash on them that much because it's been a tough year in Lincoln. Scott Frost, a lot of close losses. But let's talk about this Buckeyes squad. C.J. Stroud, in his last five games, not a single interception throw. Pair that with a great back, actually the best freshman back in the country, in Travion Henderson. Uh, I think this Ohio State offense puts up a lot of points in this one, uh, and I think they do it throughout the game. I'm throwing $10 on the Buckeyes to cover 14 and a half on the road at Nebraska. And now, you knew I wasn't going to come onto this show without talking about the most disrespected team in all of the land, number six Cincinnati who take on Tulsa today. The Bearcats ranked sixth by the College Football Playoff Committee, but is second in the country by AP Top 25. And look, this is a team that is undefeated, has the number nine scoring offense, number two scoring defense in the entire country, NFL quarterback in Desmond Ritter, NFL linebacking core, and lots of other talent on that defense. Luke Fickle was pissed all week 
in any media opportunity he had and frankly blasted the college football playoff committee. They're going to come out with a lot of vengeance in this one. National spotlight on them. College game day in attendance. They need a statement win, uh, so they're going to do it today. $10 on my Bearcats to cover the 22 and a half and get that big win today. But my lock of the week, the bet I'm most confident in, I'm going to head down to TCU where number 12 Baylor is in town to take on the Horn Frogs. And I don't understand this line at all because this Baylor squad is 7-1 on the year. I think they're right there with Oklahoma in terms of best teams in the Big 12. And it's a touchdown spread against a TCU team who is really bottom of the barrel Big 12. This one is pretty obvious to me. You don't have to think about it too much. And if you're taking anything from this show today, it's that you have to start taking Baylor seriously, who has a top 25 offense and defense, both sides of the ball. They'll easily cover a touchdown spread against TCU. $20 on that one. We're going to get a little weird for the dog of the week and travel all the way over to the islands of Hawaii, where the Rainbow Warriors play host to number 24 San Diego State. And look, the Aztecs are solid, but when you go to to Hawaii, it's going to be a tough night. You talk about the Rainbow Warriors, they have won three of four at home this season, including a top 25 win against Fresno State. They got a solid quarterback in Cordero, uh, and I think they're going to use that more air raid style offense to beat up on SDSU. So if you're hankering for some late night betting, throw 10 on Hawaii Moneyline with me at plus 240. For the game you've never heard of, uh, I'm cheating a little bit because we've all heard how poor UMass football has played this year, especially here on Beat the Bookie, because this is now the third week in a row that the person sitting in my seat right now has bet on the Minutemen uh, in some sort of bet. I truly wouldn't normally advise doing this, but they are playing Rhode Island, who is an FCS school who has lost three straight, including a 44 to nothing loss to Villanova. Rhode Island stinks. They stink out loud, uh, and UMass is playing at home. They have one win on the season against UConn, and I think the zoo is going to be rocking. It's a pick'em game, which is absolutely absurd when it's FBS, FCS. UMass wins this one, uh, so I'm throwing $5 on them to cover in that one. Uh, for a parlay to finish things off, I'm titling this one the Disrespect Parlay because this is three teams that got disrespected by the College Football Playoff Committee. We're going to start off with Cincy. I already gave you my logic on that one. Love them to cover today. UTSA, the Roadrunners, another team ranked in AP Top 25, not ranked in that college football playoff poll. They're laying 11 points to UTEP today. I think Roadrunners come out with a vengeance. And then SMU, another American squad like Cincinnati, Five points. They cover that one against Memphis. I'm throwing $10 on that at plus 581. Uh, it's pretty confident in that one. So those are all of my picks. Of course, I started things off. Auburn, Bo Nix, love them today. Michigan State, that's the game I have the most money wagered in. I love Kenneth Walker the third. Maybe sprinkle a little bit on a Heisman bet as well. Uh, and then for my picks, my lock of the week, the one I love the most, is Baylor covering that seven-point spread against TCU. Unfortunately, that's all the time we've got today here on Beat the Bookie. Be sure to check us out on Twitter, Instagram, our website, uh, and so much more for all the Beat the Bookie content all season long. But for now, I'm Noah Searson saying so long and have a fantastic Saturday, more importantly, a fantastic college football Saturday.